Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Motorsport Manager. We are in season number four, and uh, we are, what is it, seven races in, five to go. So far, we're doing really well. Uh, we got both of our drivers in the top two spots, and our team is number one overall by a significant margin. So, <laughs> good stuff there. Um, hopefully, all, I mean, this what this means is that all of our hard work for the last three seasons have really just kind of preparing ourselves not taking you know being okay with the the positions that we got for those especially those first two seasons but really kind of getting those parts you know built up and things like that really starting to pay off so i'm really happy to see that um good stuff car condition 12 hours it's fine we'll take an interview simple question which one of your drivers is better oh i would say lao i think he is but right now shin is doing better you know what? i'm not going to answer that Oh, team marketability. Oh, well. Maybe I should have answered it. Pit crew review. Form, performed, performed total of four pit stops. Uh, our fastest was 11.3 seconds. It's 1.3 seconds slower than our season record. Okay. But overall, not too bad. We had a mistake-free weekend. Good stuff here. Pit crew. How are we looking? Excuse me. Sorry about that. That's something... Uh, like a hair in my mouth. Sorry about that. Um, so we got this guy here. We need to replace. What? Where did all our people go? Did we literally only have them for a short period of time? I'm confused. We had a whole bunch of people. That is so confusing. Maybe it is such a, it's a limited number of, rounds or something huh well that's strange I don't really want to hire a whole bunch of new people that seems odd to me okay whatever I I feel like that's a mistake I could be really really wrong but I for some reason I just feel like that is not intentional yeah, what is this guy doing here? He wasn't the guy I had in that spot. 44422, what? Something goofy is going on with our pit crews. They must have just been around for a limited time, I guess. How, does it say how long we keep them for? I don't think it says anything about that. That is strange. Uh, of course, that's hiding off the screen for some reason. Yeah, I really don't understand that at all. Okay, let's see if this says anything. Okay, pit crew members do not stay with the team as for as long as other staff and don't have time to improve the stats before they move up to a higher position within motorsports. Okay. Wow. That is interesting. I mean, the pit crew stuff is something they added in this, you know, uh, recently in one of the recent patches. And so um, I actually think the first couple of races we did of this season, I don't think it had the pit crew, if I remember right, or maybe it was the end of last season, something like that. So it actually came in, the pit crew came in like midway through through the season. And so I haven't really had much time to deal with them a whole lot. Um, but that surprised me that they went away like that. All righty. Well, we definitely need somebody that's better at tires than that. Um... In fact, we don't, I don't like that person at all. They're not good for anything. <laughs> Neither is this person. Man, they have really great stamina. That's about it. Uh, maybe they go run a marathon and that's about all they can do. What's the timing thing here say? Oh, it does tell us the contract remaining when we click on him. Okay. Oh, he's only got five. Wow. That is interesting. You know what I bet these two are? I bet these two are just basic guys. Yeah, I don't know what that, it's not telling us what that clock means, but I bet they're just basic guys because we didn't have enough guys left over. So they just went and grabbed some basic ones like they do for drivers and stuff like that sometimes. Okay, that's probably exactly what it is. Um, well then, so tires and either fixing or refueling, but mostly tires. Well, let's go and grab you. You're very valuable. And, um, 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab, I guess you. Terrible on refueling, but decent on the other stuff. So say there's any other scouting we can do? It doesn't look like it. Um, you're good on fixing, but I don't really care about the fixing that much. I'll be perfectly honest. But you're decent on the rear jack. Guess we'll go ahead and grab you. All right, let's see if that gives us some more leeway. Um, so we need tires up here because you're tired. How much more do you have, Mr. Scott? Or Sal? Oh, it's not Scott. <laughs> I don't know why I said Scott. Mr. Barlow here, Salim Barlow. Um, yeah, five races left. Okay. Uh, so we need. Like I said I don't really care as much about the fixing. So let's go ahead and plug you in there. It's going to be fine. And then here we need definitely somebody who's good at refueling. So we'll grab you for fueling. And that leaves you. Kind of just picked you up because you were there. I guess we're not really going to need you. Maybe I picked you up too soon. Although, actually, you know what I can do? I can put you up here on rear jack. And then... I don't want to do this. Um, yeah, and then move you up to uh, front jack. And we'll have you for there. I think that'll work. So actually, the guys give us good fixing, good, good everything. I think I'm happy with that. Technically, this guy would be better for the rear jack, but uh, I think the tent's gonna be fine. Um, does it tell us what the front stuff is? The jacks are. Oh, it's repair times. 1.52 seconds on the jacks. Like if I swapped you two, just because I'm curious. Wow, it takes off half a second. Um, what's the uh, refueling time then if I do that? Or the tires, I should say. 2.59 seconds. Whereas here, it's 2.46. So overall, 3.59. Whereas if I swap you around, 13.21. I say 3.59. 13.59. Down to 13.21. Good. I will take that. Um... And then we could swap. What if we swapped you two? Uh, it's worse. Okay. The jacks actually make a pretty big difference. So note to self. Make sure we have the good uh, good guys on the front and the rear jack. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Um, anything else in the mail? Nope. Let's go. Car repairs are complete. Let's make sure that we are enhancing the correct pro uh, parts. Yep, all performance. Just getting a trickle on those. That's fine. One day before race, everything here will be finished. Great. Uh, we have a couple sponsors in. We got three for this one, so we can go ahead and take that one now. Um, so this one right here is worth 1.1 mil. This one is worth, what, three, six, 1.1 mil too, right? Yes. This one's less races though, so this one would probably be a little bit better for us. This one's eight races. This one's actually worth only 500,000. Okay, because it's only on for us. I was about to do 500 times eight, but it's up front. So no, I think this one's the better one overall. They're, they're both the same, but this one's less races, I think. If I did my math right. It's bad to do math in public. Uh, we'll get a couple more offers for this guy in the back, so we'll wait off. Politics vote. Three dry wheels. Might be kind of cool to have. Um, no offers, really, for slot number five. That surprises me. Uh, we do have three offers for this one. Uh, 350 per race. That comes out to just a little bit less than 3.5 mil. What, 3.15 or something like that? Um, 1.6. Okay, that's not good. And this one up here is 4 million up front. We will take the four... Well... These are pretty close. And the fact that this one's three races less. Like if this was um, 12 races like that one, it would actually be worth more. 
But we'll take them up front. Four million up front. Cannot go wrong with that. Probably does mean that our cost per race, yeah, it did go up, in fact. But that's okay. Oh, we do have three offers now. I wonder why it was waiting on this one. Um, I think I'm kind of tempted to keep going for these fourth and above stuff. But if we're never going to pick them, we're going to pick probably for an hour. We're going to be picking the second or above. But at least having this as an option would be good. And, of course, the one mil up front. Come on. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, let's do that. One mil up front. That puts us in a much better position now. Uh, local fun run graced by European Race Series star Shin Chi. Fun runner. More marketability. Perfect. People retiring. Three, uh, three dry tire compounds. So, with uh, five races left at 1.4 mil, which, you know, that's basically worst case. Uh, that puts us at $7 million. That actually leaves... 4.4 million dollars to play with we could add something to the headquarters um such as working towards the factory which apparently we still have the second best even though it's really far down the list um I'm kind of leaning towards the um like the wind title would be good how much did i say 4.5 mil simulator Rear aerodynamic part development and gives your drivers the chance to improve their adapt adaptability and consistency. Okay, obviously nothing that's relevant to us at the moment. Handling suspension forecasting center would be good. It's gonna cost us six million dollars, so. though. Alright, we'll hold off. Oh, it's actually only seven fifty for the helipad. Oh, really? Tour center. We actually get some money per race. Huh. I'm actually tempted to get the helipad just to get those five-star sponsors. It's really not a whole ton of money. Let's do it. Yeah, I like that. I think that will come in handy. Uh, as far as the car, though, we can design some parts. Let's design... Um, we got a really good brakes. So I don't think we can get any better than that, right? Nope, not yet. Um... So let's go do a better engine. Although I would like to do better gearboxes. No, let's do the better gearboxes for next year. That's fine. Let's do that. It's not going to be great. Actually, if it's not going to be all that great. Is this better than what we currently have? It is actually better than what we currently have, even without um, adding else to, anything else to it. Because, I mean... This first part, we're not going to use for next season, most likely. So, let's just do this. And then we can start working on some of these other ones for next season. Because this is where we could technically use this season a little bit. If we got it improved fast enough. Only six weeks on that helipad. Not too bad. Shin's birthday. Yeah, well, absolutely. Throw you a party. I want a hundred thousand dollar party. I don't know what. I don't, I don't know if I would know what to do with a hundred thousand dollar party. <laughs> yep, new vote started. Um, will benefit cars that are easy on tires. Would it really? Huh. I'll vote for it then. I'm okay with that. Somehow I have a feeling it's not going to pass. Nope, definitely didn't pass. Okay, fair enough. It's probably not going to be relevant to us anyway, because I think we're going to be out of this league next season anyway. Currently first. Um, will not be implemented. Sounds fine with me. All right, there's a performance work. Acceleration. Um, anything else relevant here? I don't see anything. Performance work is done. So, let's grab. Uh, so you're all good. You're all good. You're all good. Uh, we'll grab th these two things. 
and we'll grab the better gearbox. We're about to get a good one. No, we're not going to do the other one, though. And then let's start working on this. That's fine. And yeah, let's keep it fully focused on performance. Ah, and there's our part that we just got. Um, so for a moment, let's take you off. Where did it go? Oh, we didn't get it yet. Never mind. It it was just... I thought we got the pop-up for it. No, it did. Okay, it just hadn't showed up yet. There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, this is actually going to be better than anything else we got. In fact, it's currently better than anything else we got. So for the moment, let's do that full on reliability. Um, we will, in fact, get rid of you. And actually, you, sorry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put in you too. Yep, I like it. And we're not going to have enough time to get the reliability up to anything worthwhile. We could chance it because of the fact that it's um, the low number is so low on this and give this one to um, Lau with his nurse and he might be able to quite literally nurse it around. I don't know. We'll see. All right. What do we need here? Acceleration and top speed. So we're going to go back to the 1.4 mil, although the 800,000 is quite tempting. So, do we do we nurse Lau around or not? Um, I'm gonna give the Lau the better better gearbox. I think we risk it. I think because of the fact that the the low is so low. If the low wasn't as low as this, it wasn't half of what it normally is. I wouldn't. But effectively, this is like saying it's 53% when when it was back at 20% on the uh, red spot. So, I think I'm okay with that. And then we can give you that one. That's great. And then we'll give Lau the better engine. Looks good to me. Huh? We're already up to purple numbers. Nice. And then... Actually, everybody's happy right now. I don't think I'm going to touch anything. No, I'm okay with this. I like the way it is. Portugal. I like this race. It's cool. Um, it's a nice big kind of a, not necessarily a straightaway, but uh, a little bit of a dip here and then some more high speed. So I like it. All right, we'll keep on doing you guys. 20 on the feedback. Wow. Nice. Um, let's change your setup. I actually think we do have a Tondela. Ah, oh, it's track A, though. So probably not going to be the same. Um, yeah, I think the previous ones we've done has got that little lip there or maybe some of that out there. I can't remember. I think we always do this little thing, though. I don't think we have any that do this little spot, but... Anyway, um, let's go down there. Handling. Speed balance. Just kind of keep them all in the middle. Tire choice. Any signs of rain? Not at the moment. So let's just go on. We're actually doing really good with the tires. Although we don't ever take the tire performance boost, so it doesn't really matter. Something like that is fine. Pause you, send you out, send you out, change it to uh, 2D and 12X. Go, go, go. I guess since we never do the tire thing, I can always give them the softer tires just because it would um, so get a little bit better lap times. Plus, come to think of it, getting the thing tuned in on the softer tires that we're going to be running for most of the lap would have actually been smarter. Now, that, that's actually a really good idea. I should do that. Yeah, it'll be all right. Uh, wow, you were terrible. 
Way off. Okay. Um, let's go further down this direction, maybe. And then... I'll go a little bit off of there. And you are very poor. Let's go something like that. Tempted to change the tires. It would only last three seconds. Sure. I'd, like I said, I'd rather like practice with the tire that we're probably using for more of the race than anything. Just in case it makes a difference on the overall uh, like tuning and stuff. All right, so handling is actually great. Speed of balance, not so much. Uh, let's go a little bit more acceleration. Um, and then let's go quite a bit on the downforce. And we'll go a little bit less on the handling. Something like that. And again, we'll swap, swap you over to the soft. Only three seconds longer. Should be fine. Just to practice with those a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring you both back in one more time. Hopefully we got a lot closer. Ah, much, much better. All right. Um, so we went from poor to great. So maybe you want a little bit more downforce. We'll just do something like that. Went from good to excellent. So we're going to keep that there. And very poor to good. So let's just go a spidge less on the there. Keep that on the excellent. Let's try something like that. And you... Not half bad either. So we're from poor to good, so you're probably going to want a bit more. Uh, let's see. Great to great. So literally nothing's changed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then poor to great. So a little bit more on that. No, yeah, I think I like this. Go ahead and run it out. Oh, it actually is going to start raining. Well, hello there. Well, there goes my thing of let's run it on the softer tires just in case it makes a difference. Well, <laughs> we're not going to be running on the rain tires, so oh well. Go, go, go. Yeah, not too good, actually. But, again, it is raining, so that's taking to effect. The one lap that we finally gave them to go all out, it's the one that rains. Yeah, okay, I'm okay with that. They got the race trim three, and that's, that's one of the more important things. And, of course, getting everything locked in on the... Um, the uh, setup. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we got a lot closer. Uh, okay, so yes, we will go wrist trim and wrist taker, and wrist trim and uh, nurse, like our always. Uh, it's dry now, and okay, so we actually got. Two excellence and a great over here. So that's pretty good. 97%. I will take it. Um, tire choice. Yeah, we'll go out on softs. Fuel options, you're going to go maxed out. That's fine. And then you. Uh, we did get better everywhere except the handling. So we had two greats there. So I'm actually going to stick it in between those two. Something like that. As long as everything else is look good still, yes. Cool. Maybe that's it. It's either it's at least excellent. Or at least sorry, at least great. It might be an excellent as well. I'll give you one less lap. And softs. Maybe the reason she's doing better is because she's pitting earlier. I don't know. I hadn't thought about it that way. I always thought about keeping Lau out longer to pit later, but maybe maybe pitting him earlier would be better. I will just keep things going the way they are. Um Go down to 
engine I think is sort of good on this one. So we're gonna leave that one at 80, especially for her. Her, her engine always has problems. All right, something like that. Apply to other car. Oh, we can drop yours down to 70 though. You're perfectly fine. That one's fine. It's a crucial part, but I think he's going to be okay. And we will find out. I don't know why it resets the timer when I do that. So that's all right. And they're off. Come on, guys. Let's do good. Well, that was moving up the pack a little bit. A lot of clumped up people, though. Come on, Lau. 15th. Keep on pushing it. 13th. Good pass. 12th. Really good pass. Pass him in the straight here. Yep. Good. Good. Go to the inside. 11th place. Come on. Right on his bumper. Oh, good pass. Man. Bumped up a couple spots there. What are you going to do now? Get him on the inside here. Yep. There you go. Good stuff. Oh, they're selling high. <laughs> I was enjoying the race too much. Or uh, on the heavy, I should say. That's going to be all right, though. Up to fifth. Ah, uh, dropped back down to six. Where are these guys going? They're going... Yeah, mix, mix and match of various things. Uh, we're dropping back down again, unfortunately. Come on, Lau. Cut on to it. Oh, good pass there. Oh, that was a really good pass. As they slowed down for the corner, you swooped in there. Come on, can you get past third? Uh, don't lose, don't lose fourth. Ah, oh, there you go. Your, your higher speed is definitely coming in place. Get up to second. Oh, barely. <laughs> it was like flickering there for a second. Oh, Chi's moving up to ninth. Keep on coming, Chi. There you go. Come on. Get it. Oh, not quite. I feel like you have the faster car, but he's, or maybe not. Maybe he's got a better acceleration. I bet that's what it is. You've got a better top speed. He's got a better, oh, you did a much better job of passing when he, he braked a little harder than you did there. Good job. All right, let's go really light on the tires then. These tires are burning up like crazy. In fact, we're going to have to go a little bit heavier on the, uh, the gas, I think, just to burn off some more of this fuel. All right, so we are second. Oh, I thought we were first second there because that looks the same. It's a blue color as well. Different color blue. All right, so Chi will uh, pit this next lap and Lau will pit the lap after that. All right, you're ready to pit. All right, you're going to come in on... We got eight laps out of you, which is fine. Let's do another soft. Uh, any change in weather? Nope. Oh, we are going to barely have any fuel. Um, 17 left remaining. Let's just split it in half. About nine. And then this looks good. Yep, fast. Uh, so in that case, let's go ahead and tone you back down just to be safe. I don't want you to run out of fuel. Lao should be fine, though. Yeah, I know. We're getting some tire wear. We're going to be all right, though. We got you, buddy. All right, so we're technically in first for a whole five seconds. Um, so we're going to go back on softs. You're actually going to have zero fuel. We're going to have to tone you back down again as well. 16 laps, so let's get you up to... Uh, let's go ahead and go do nine. I just want to have a little bit extra to play around with. This is, you know, we've dropped 7%, so something to keep in mind. If we, drop, if we keep that average going, 
We'll drop another 14% total. That gets us down to that 20%, which again, had the red been up at the 20% mark, maybe I'd be a little worried. But since it's not, we should be fine. We'll go fast. So let's go ahead and tone you back down to medium. Come on, good pit. Uh, I guess it was okay. Doesn't seem like there's any mistakes. Are you really low fuel? I think you're going to be alright. You're pitting right now. You're obviously not going to hold on to first place once you pit, but that's alright. Come on, mistake free. Let's go. Looking good. Wow, you actually came out in second. I'm surprised. How did you do that? I'm kind of shocked that you were able to... Our pit was that good. Or you were that far ahead or other people pit as well. Something. And the first place guy has to pit right now. So well, I was going to be in first place. His form is not too good, unfortunately. So we'll have to... Uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can get that to improve. I don't know what you can do. Obviously, this is not one of those races where we can uh, swap in another driver like the uh, endurance races. But... Yeah, I know. I know, buddy. I'm keeping an eye on it. Fact. Um, since you're in first place by so much, let's just go down to low and conserve. Really play it safe. And the guy behind you might start catching you a little bit, but it's going to be okay. He's actually getting quite a bit. Um... All right, you can go ahead and go down to medium. It's going to be fine. Let's go and go back up to medium, I guess. See if we can hold this guy off a little bit. Nope. He's going to keep on coming. Uh, there we go. Now we're starting to gain a little bit more. We'll keep it in the medium spot for a while. Oh, you're going to have to go down to conserve. Man, you went through those tires faster than I meant for you to. Ouch. In fact, we may have to go all the way down to backup, unfortunately. That is not good. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to get a couple more laps. That's, that's terrible. All right, he's starting to catch up and get more. I think we're just going to have to live with it, though. I mean, I don't really want to do anything else. Um right now we we'll kind of take it slow and easy for now on some of these straightaways we can get a little bit of a gap there apparently all right we gotta at least get one more lab out of you chi i know it's not great but you gotta do what you can do well, we're up to four seconds on first All right, you can go ahead and pit now. It'll leave 10 laps remaining, which I think is exactly how much fuel we can give you. Uh, we will definitely give you medium tires, though. Oh, barely. Uh, no, it'll be nine laps remaining. Okay, that's fine. Yep, that is good. Park conditions look good. Pit strategy will go fast. Uh, let's go ahead and jump you up to high, though. Just burn off a little bit more fuel since we're about to put a whole bunch in there anyway. Maybe make a little bit of ground on these guys. You're going to have to pit this time. Lowry, can you go one more? I think you can actually go one more. Good pit. Yeah, Lowry's actually going to be able to go one more. His tires are good. His fuel's good. Uh, Maybe. Uh, he's going to go one more now. Let's go down a low. Squeeze out that one more. Not ideal, but maybe I should have pit there. Uh, let's go and bump you up to push on the tires, though. Let's go and schedule your pit. Um, it's only going to be eight laps remaining. So I think we will keep you out on softs. Get a little bit of a performance boost. 
And actually only seven laps remaining. Um I guess we'll save a second here. Really puts us in you know, I'm gonna give it one more. I just I really would hate to mess that up. Doesn't seem like it's gonna make much difference whatsoever, so we'll just go balanced. How are you looking at Chi? Okay, you're good. Um Did you pass your first lap? I think you did. So let's go ahead and drop you down to high. Or did I just... I don't remember, actually. I think you did. Either way, your tires are pretty hot. All right, we'll start off overtake and attack. Just, just to get these rolling. Guy in front of you will have to pit. Guy behind you will not. So that is going to be a big difference. So, yeah... 19% on those gears. Come on, guys. I'm just going to drop you down to orange. And that second place guy is on our tail. Yeah, he's just... Oh, he just passed us. Uh, let's go ahead and drop you down to neutral. Keep you on high for a moment. There's no way he can go that hard and heavy that for that long, though. I don't think. All right, we're going to drop you down to neutral for now. As long as you guys have excess fuel, though, we're going to keep you on high for the bit. Coming close on those gears, though. I was really hoping to get you in first place and just settle in. Really turning through those tires. All right, so we're on what? 22, 23, 24, 25. So we have four laps left. Plenty of fuel for both of you. I mean, you're a little bit lower, but it's going to be fine. You have tons of fuel. Guy in front of you is still going heavy. So we're at what? Three laps left now? It is a risk, but I think we're going to have to go up to overtake. See if we can catch that guy. Yeah, we're wearing through that gears really fast now. And right, we're just not catching him. Did he go back up? And do yeah, he did. He's trying to hold us off. Of course he is. Um, and we're still above our sponsor objective, so that's the important thing. And there's 13 seconds ahead of the next guy, so that part's fine. Would be nice to catch him, though. Two laps left. Oh, you have to drop down to medium. And that will be fine. Moved up to fourth. Yeah, we're just barely even doing anything for him. All right, let's just go all out. Push and attack. See if we can do something. I'm barely maybe catching him. Come on, come on, come on. Not that we have to have it, but it would be nice. I don't think... No, we're not going to get him. That's all right. Second place. Solid second place. Really, really well done. And fourth place as well. I am pretty happy with that. Oh, no. Oh, okay, hold on to fourth. Did she get it? Oh, barely got fourth place. I didn't realize he was that close. I would have bumped it up a little higher, maybe, somehow. But no, she held him off. Good job. Yeah, as long as we have the sponsor objective, I'm happy. We don't have to have first place every time. That is not important. Man, Hamill went pretty fast there. We were catching him there at the end, but man, he was going crazy fast.
scrutineering. Such a funny word, scrutineering. All right, on target, uh, he did have the fastest level. Good for him. Hmm, we lost, uh, oh no, we closed the gap a little bit. That's what happened. Um, oh, Hamill's actually the one coming up behind us. Wow. Well, he could be trouble if he starts winning some more first places. I mean, not trouble as far as the team is concerned. I don't think that's that's going to happen, but it's trouble for uh, taking one of those top two spots for racers. Have to keep an eye on him. Oh, oh, he did better on that that race. Okay, I was gonna say I hate when it does that. It like throws me off. I was like, what's going on? It's because he uh, he just does better on that particular track. Uh, and Shin, yeah, gaining, still gaining some ground. $508,000. That is uh, not a bad deal. And there is our save. All right. Eight races in the books. Four races to go. Still in first place. Uh, only about 18 points separating us from Hamill, so it's possible something could change. I don't think it will, but it's possible. But uh, definitely the team. I think we've got the team locked in. So I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.